Mindfulness is really about memory. We, in order to be mindful, we have to have the intention to remember what's happening right now. Otherwise, why be mindful? Mindfulness is not really about being in the moment nearly as much as it is about developing memory. Now, memory is different than, oh, I want to remember everything so I can recall it. No, it's more about being in this moment so clearly that you remember what you're doing. Because when we're in the moment, it's easy to remember what's happened. We have a difficult time recalling what's happened when we're in the past, in the moment. If, in other words, if you're tripping in your mind and you're thinking about the past, the chances of you remembering that moment clearly in time are slim because it's going to look like other times in the past. So many people, their entire life is the past. It's, it's a strange kind of treadmill. It's like, oh, this is always happening to me. It's going to happen to me again, and it does. They have this, you'll have the same kind of repeating experiences, emotionally speaking. Now, the scene's gonna change, so you know it, it won't always look the same, but it will feel the same. When we're in the present moment, the feelings that come up, will, they won't feel like the present, the, the, the memories of the past. It'll be fresh. Life feels fresh in the moment. Life feels stale when we're in reminiscence and thinking of the past or we're hoping for something in the future. Because then it'll be the same kind of emotional content. That emotional content will repeat itself over and over again. So mindfulness is the ability, is the training, the mind training to be in the present moment so we can remember clearly what we're doing. Now, it's again, it's not just for this moment, but it's for the future. We want to remember what's happening now so that when we recall our life and we think about what we're going to do next, what we've done will be for real. What we've actually experienced will be the actual experience. They've done um, research with couples and when they're doing marriage counseling and they'll ask a couple uh, about a certain event that happened. And if they have two different ideas about the events that happened, somebody wasn't in the present moment when that happened. And that they'll, you can create a past that isn't real. And not creating a past that isn't real will create a future that isn't real. We be in the moment, being mindful of what is happening right now is the way to have a crystal clear reality. Reality will only show itself to us when we're present, when we are mindfully being aware of this moment. The, the, I can, if I could give you some advice on how to do this, which is difficult because there's so many things involved in mindfulness, it's about being aware of your breath. Being aware of, if you're aware of your breath, if you're breathing clearly, if you're paying attention to your breathing in this moment, you will be mindful. It's when we start breathing beyond the present moment, when we're in a hurt, when we're not breathing deeply enough, or we're breathing in a, in a real rapid way because we're overly excited. Those states of mind will not be remembered clearly. In order to remember clearly, to have a memory that is crystal clear, we need to be aware of our breath. And the way to be aware of the breath is that it's even. And even breath, in, in, it, it means that you're not overly excited or you're underly excited, like you're depressed. If you're depressed, you're not breathing enough. If you're too excited, you're breathing too fast. Having breathing that is very even means you have an even keel. It means your emotions are going to be going by in a way that you're aware of them. When you're aware of your emotions going by, that is what mindfulness is. When we're mindful in the moment, we're able to remember what's happened. 
when we can remember what's happened in our life, then we're aware of our life. If we're aware of our life and have a true crystal clear memory of what's happened, then we have a trace through time that's true. When we are tracing ourselves through time in a way that we're not lying to ourselves and not, have no need to lie to others, that is a mindful life and a life that's worth living.